what's good guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be doing a tutorial on this hairstyle it's a half up half down as you can see listen okay <laughs> it was super simple and it didn't take me that long um it's definitely beginner friendly and it's definitely a protective style that I love to do like on the weekends um, when I don't feel like doing my hair or when my hair is dirty like right now. This is something all my queens can do and it's affordable. I only use, I used one full bundle and then I used one of my clip-ins from my other bundle that I already had. So you can still get this look full look with just the one bundle um so yeah if you guys would like to see how i got this look then keep on watching so let's start with i love me some kool-aid jammers okay <laughs> so right here my hair is looking real busted crusty and just a mess so we're gonna put some life into it add water and leave-in moisturizer I'm just working that through my hair and then here's the leave-in I use. I'm going to spray that all over my hair and then work that in as well. Then I'm going to go in with the main choice oil and oil my scalp and massage it. Now I'm going to take this rat tail comb and then part my hair from ear to ear. The part honestly doesn't have to be super, super straight. Like it's really not that deep, but um, just make sure that all sides are even and that you have enough hair at the top to be able to grip a ponytail and also to hold the hair that you're gonna apply to it later y'all my hair is so dirty it's ridiculous so now i'm gonna split those two um halves in, in half <laughs> and then i'm gonna make three braids in the back they don't have to be neat they don't have to be perfect i honestly never try to make my braids perfect in the back because i like the bulkiness that i get when i put my clippings in and it makes it look cooler in my opinion Now I'm going to hook the end of each of my braids to the base of the braid and bobby pin it in place just so my braids aren't sticking out and that my braids are laying fairly flat. Now I'm going to take some water and that leave-in conditioner and just spray my clippings a little bit. So I'm taking the one with five clips on it and that'll be the first row for the back. And it's okay if your braids are sticking out from the bottom because you're not gonna be able to see it once this look is done. Now I'll be taking the one with four clips on it. I'm gonna spray it with water and a leave-in and make sure I rub it through and then clip that on top of the one with five. Then next I did the ones with three and then after that I took 
the four clippings that had two clips on them and placed them all the way until I got to the top. And that's that on that all of the clip-ins in the back are good as you can see it's super full you can't even see the braids at all now on to my favorite part okay <laughs> so I'm gonna take some water and some leave-in and comb through my hair Now I'm taking the curl enhancing smoothie and I'm going to distribute that throughout my hair. Then I'm going to spray some water just to make sure my hair is wet enough to comb through. Then I'm going to take the curl maker and you know, you know how this go. Get my curls popping, get my waves popping in the front so it all looks like mine, okay? Now I'm gonna take my baby, my eco styler. <laughs> I honestly only use the green one because it doesn't flake up my hair. It holds super good and it doesn't make my hair super hard um, especially when I use it in combination with the curl enhancing smoothie like if I take a whole bunch of gel I'll just put the um, Shea Moisture curl enhancing smoothie on top and then my hair be good to go all day now I'm gonna brush my hair up you know I'm gonna make this ponytail real sleek and on fleek So I'm going to use two ponytails just because I like my ponytail to stay in place um, the entire time I'm wearing it. Um, and I like I just like that sleek look that it gives. So I'm using two ponytails, um, wrapping around a couple times. Now we're going to braid it and put some leave-in in it, of course. So we're going to braid it to the back. And I say braid it to the back because... When I first did this style, I didn't, I was just braiding it to the side and braiding it to the front, like, but I noticed that when I braid it to the back, my ponytail stays in the back and it lays how it's supposed to lay. I'm going to also do my baby hair off camera because that be taking me forever <laughs> and I just didn't have time to be doing it on camera. So for me, when I do this style, I usually take the ones with the least clips on it. So I'm taking the one with three clips and I'm clipping it on the piece that I left out that I didn't braid. And then I'm going to clip the other piece around it 
just because I want my ponytail to be just a little bit longer and a little bit fuller. Next, I'm gonna use the one with five clips on it and then clip it at the top first and then wrap it around, clip it at the uh, bottom, wrap it around, clip it at the top and then so on and so forth. And this was the clip in that was from my last bundle. But as you can see, it still looks pretty new. It still looks good. It's not all crazy looking. Then I'm gonna take another one with five clips on it and then wrap that around the same way. I always start at the top and then work my way around the braid that way. I'm so extra. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the one with two clips on it and this should be the last uh, clip in that I put in. And you see the space. I'm just gonna clip one at the top and then one at the bottom. And if there is any space left in between, it's not a lot. So when I wrap my hair around it, it'll be seamless and it'll look better. So I sprayed a little bit of water just so I'll be able to separate um, the piece that I'm going to wrap around the ponytail. So of course you always want to take it from the back underneath. You want to take it from the back and spray it with something. In this case I'm going to spray it with some water and then use the curl maker just to smooth it out so when I wrap it it doesn't look all janky. <laughs> So I always wrap it to the left, I guess I'm gonna say. I never wrap it towards the right. I just, I always, cause I always pull the hair out from like the left, towards the left. And that's where the hair usually flows to the left. So right here, I'm just wrapping it. And then I'm gonna use this got to be free spray. I'm gonna just spray a little on there and um, smooth it in so that I don't have to put hella bobby pins in it. Then I'm gonna fluff it a little bit, you know, make sure it's sitting right. As y'all can see, it's super thick, super full, coming from the scalp, period. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it one more time with uh, the leave-in and fluff it some more and that's all with this look. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 